This week, we're starting to learn about participles. And this is going to stretch your brain a little because participles are verbs with adjective endings. So up until this time, we've only had a certain kind of ending that we can have with verbs. And guess what? Now they're going to begin to start to look like nouns. But we'll take a long time to go over this. This will be weeks and weeks of learning. We'll do it slowly. There'll be lots of help to let your brain stretch a little bit. Now, a participle is also called a verbal adjective. And that's in English too, okay? That simply means the verb acts like an adjective. Do you remember the adjective questions? Which one, what kind, how many? So they answer the these questions well. And of course, we know that an adjective modifies a noun in the sentence. So they're much more common in Latin and English, so they can feel a little bit strange to us. So if you, they still have to behave like adjectives and they match gender case and number though, okay? In Latin. So let's take a look at this first sentence. The crying baby drew a long breath and sucked in a spider crouching in the corner of the crib. So crying comes from the verb to cry because somebody can be crying, right? You see that form of the word used as a verb, but here it acts like an adjective modifying the noun baby. It's describing the baby. Which baby? Well, the crying baby. So it answers an adjective question. And at the word crouching, someone can be crouching, right, in the corner, but here it, com it comes from the verb to crouch, but it acts as an adjective modifying the noun spider. What kind of spider? The crouching spider. And therefore, both in English and in Latin, it's called a participle. Okay. Since participles modify nouns in Latin, they must have the same gender, case, and number as the noun they modify. That is not new to you at all, right? We're not going to learn any new endings. We're not going to learn they're not going to behave any differently. So same thing. So transfer all that knowledge you've had before about adjectives. You're now going to translate it transfer it over to verbs. That's the only things that's different. So, but since participles are like verbs and that they show action or they show a state of being, they require tense and voice. So now these verbal adjectives, these participles are going to have gender, case, number, tense, and voice. Now, there are only three verb tenses for participles, present, future, and perfect, which will simplify things enormously. And if you turn to page 18 in your chart book, um, I've got all of this written down for you as far as the charts that we're going to look at, that kind of thing. But let's, uh, we'll turn there in a minute, but let's concentrate on identifying participles and their tenses. So remember, we're only three choices. We've got present, future, and perfect. All right. So the ducks swimming in the pond called to one another. So a lot of times you're going to look for an ing verb. That will help you a lot. What So ducks are the noun. Which ones? What kind? How many? Which ones? The swimming ducks, right? They're swimming in the pond. That is the participle. And what, what tense is that? Is that present, future, or perfect? That's actually present. Pretty easy. Stuff you already know. We saw horses running swiftly through the field. So you got to find the word that describes horses. Which ones? What kind? How many? Which ones? The running horses. They are modifying. Running modifies horses just like swimming modifies duck. Ducks, we saw horses running swiftly through the field. What does that verb uh, tell? What were the, what, when were the horses doing it? Right now. So that one is also present actually. Horses, the horses are running through the field. Okay, the boy's about to scare the girls. So running is present tense. Don't, don't, don't look at saw. Look at running. Okay, I'm going to back up because I think you just went, what? Running is present tense. Okay, the boys about to scare the girls had second thoughts when they saw their mother watching. The first one, it's a whole phrase, about to scare which boys, right? The ones that were about to scare. The boys about to scare. 
That tells us about the boys. Had second thoughts when they saw their mother watching. Oh, there's one more. Do you see it? What kind of mother was it? The watching mother. So the watching goes back to mother. So about to scare is a participial phrase and so is watching. So about to scare. Okay. So let's look at, let's look at that. It's interesting about to scare the girls. I want to tell you one thing about this phrase. The boy's about to, the boy's about to scare the girls because a participle comes from a verb it can have an accusative because that's one of the things a verb can have. A verb can have a direct object or accusative. In this case, the direct object is actually the girls. The girls answers the question, who was about to be scared? So I'm just going to point that out to you, that they sometimes act like adjectives and they sometimes act like verbs and then they sometimes act like adjectives and verbs together. Okay, boys about to scare the girls. What tense is that? That is actually future tense. What about the next one? When they saw their mother, when they saw their mother watching, what was, when was their mother watching? Right then and there. Remember, don't, don't, don't let that confuse you. Their mother watching. Their mother is doing it right now. So it's present tense. Okay. The students, having enjoyed their class tremendously, thank their teacher. So here's the participial phrase, having enjoyed. Because why, which one, what kind, how many, what kind of students? The ones that were enjoying or have, were in, having enjoyment, right? The, they are, it's modifying students. Thank their teacher. So look at having enjoyed. What tense is that? That is actually past tense. It was done in the past because you've got that having here. All right, last one. The army trained in battle March bravely to face the enemy. What is it? It's not an ING this time. It's trained. Which army? The army trained. The trained army. That describes army. Okay. What tense is trained? Trained is past tense. Lots more to come on that, but that's your introduction to participle. Participle.